I will call them moms. Okay, just pronounce your name to the camera. Nicole. And last name? Colado. And that, of course, is Shaheen Joya. He's going to be protecting this young lady from any... Uh, yeah. Uh, Harm. Unwanted. Unwanted foreign, and, you know, whoever. Flying unidentified flying yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Okay, go on this side. Ben. Watch up behind you, there's a bike. No, like the pants. Okay. I don't have pants. Life. This torch of life, which is going to be carried by a Moss high school student, Nicholas Aleppo, will be presented to the Church of St. Peter's Roman Catholic Church in Woodbridge, Ontario. This church, this church is the church which was blessed by Pope Paul John II back in 2001. We are honored to present this pledge to the Catholic Church here in Woodbridge, Ontario. Thank you very much for attending and God bless. When do you want us to get it? When do you want us to get the torch? Oh, do you want me to say a few words? No, no, no. Okay, two minutes. Should I wait here? and over a million students and young people have carried the torch and 
today, Lawn student Nicole uh, Palamento has, has carried the torch. And I want to briefly introduce our, our newest and youngest ambassador, Shaheen Joyo, uh, who's from Afghanistan. And he recently carried the torch from Ottawa uh, to Toronto. And he's just going to share a few brief words. Thank you all very much. Uh, I'd like to thank Mr. Marcello, first of all, uh, for allowing me to have this opportunity to speak with you all. Um, and uh, on this great occasion, the Torch of Life is here, and it was blessed uh, by Pope John Paul II. Uh, and I think that's a very special uh, help that we received by him sanctifying organ donations and tissue donations. Because for me, it stands for something that, uh, as an immigrant, to Canada um, is, is very important and close to my heart, which is coming to the help of others. Um, and that's what organ tissue donations is all about. Without regard to where they're from, uh, what color they are, what religion they're from. And I think that's the message that uh, Pope John Paul II uh, tried to pass on to the rest of the world. And in re that relation, uh, we are working on a project right now uh, whereby we want to invite a Palestinian man over to Canada to honor him for a great deed, a deed beyond human capability uh, on, on, on at least my part. I don't know what I would have done. Essentially, uh, Mr. Ismail was called to the hospital because his 12-year-old son in 2005 had been uh, shot accidentally and uh, he was killed. And uh, when he got to the hospital, the doctor told him that your son is, has passed away, but there are these other children here that are depending on organs um, to, to live, to survive. And in that moment, instead of giving into the dark nature of that, that humans share around the world, as much as we have our common good side. So instead of giving into that, he decided to donate the organs to uh, eight children, some of whom were uh, Jewish, Israeli children. And that is an act of selflessness that goes beyond uh, beyond understanding on my part. And we would like to honor this man by bringing him to Canada, and that's the project that uh, we're working on. We're looking for people to support us and to help us to bring this uh, great human being here and to show him the hospitality and the multiculturalism that exists in Canada. Uh, because not only around the world, but especially in Canada, it's important for us all to live together and for that, other regarding behavior, passing beyond our own selves. Basically, the message of Pope John Paul II in action is, uh, is what we need. So I thank you once again for your time. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, thanks also to the many sponsors and supporters for their generosity. Uh, you will find them in the booklet. Uh, I would like also to thank uh, for the greeting 